While in Nepal, I could kind of just see the direct correlation between children being raised without love and family to violence and cycles of poverty in the world. I decided I'm going to create a children's home of my own. Ended up leaving the life that I had behind and, and moving there and raising the kids. It went from being this thing that I was doing on my own to a community effort and realizing that other people cared too. This year's Humanitarian of the Year. First ever Forbes Excellence Award in Education. In CNN Hero of the Year is Maggie Doyne. Six months ago, I was literally on top of the world. And there was an accident at the house. I ran downstairs from my bedroom and I saw my 17-year-old giving CPR to my baby. And um, on December 30th of this year, he passed away, which is why I'm up speaking for the first time today. And um, I came back to New Jersey, where I'm from, and I spent about two months in fetal position in bed alone. I went blackout. I thought I would die. I didn't want to love another human being. Love was like the scariest thing in the whole entire world. And the craziest thing in the world happened in California. I fell in love. <laughs> so we decided to go on a road trip. And we decided to drive up the entire coast of California all the way up to Canada. And I cried and I missed my baby, but I started to smile again. I started to feel something. And I thought, what a miracle that I could feel love again. And I missed my kids so much on that road trip. So I started writing them love letters. I started to think about all the little things that I loved about them. I was able to realize that these were the things that were keeping me alive and these were the things that were keeping me going. And eventually, he and I uh, traveled back to Nepal. We made it. <laughs> Jeremy. <laughs> oh, who didn't I get a hug from yet? I got back to my kids and it was just a few months ago. It was at a much different pace. And I started living my life a little bit differently. I just take every single moment and I try to find beauty in it and try to find those little things. That I haven't shook my shadow And every day is trying to trick me into doing battle Calling out fake God, wanna get me rattled Wanna pull me back behind the fence with the cat Building your love I realize that love is the thing in life that can cause you the most horrific, terrible pain But it's also the only thing on the planet that can heal you and the only thing that will ever, in a million years, heal the world with the state that we're in. And it's healed me. <laughs>